uh, Sir Philip Romualdez, yes. What is your entrepreneurial story? That one I would like to hear. Was it a corp was it corporate entrepreneurship or talagang galing po sa inyo? Well, actually, I'm very happy and proud to be working for a company that is uh, 113 years old already. Wow. The story of the company is that three Americans started this over 113 years ago. And it is a group of businesses that has evolved over time. And what we have seen, no, nakikita natin, ang negosyo may ups at may downs. Mm -hmm. Ang issue din ng sa amin is, you have to be persevering. Companies and projects, negosyo, magkakahirap. You will have problems along the way. Kung minsan, kaisip mo, babagsak na. And it is in these difficult times that you actually find opportunities. And the one thing that we've learned over time is that you have to learn how to, ang sinasabi na, fail fast. Kung, kung baga nagkakaproblema yung negosyo na ito o, o business na yan, kailangan mo mag-adjust ka agad. Because certainly, as you go through your businesses, you will have ups and downs. But you have to always stay the course and be very persevering and looking for opportunities. Alam mo naman ho natin eh, kung perfect ang mundo nandito sa Garden of Eden, walang kailangan ng negosyo. Ang ibig sabihin nun is kung if there are no needs ng tao, hindi tayo kailangan maghanap ng produkto o service magbenta. Ang kagandahan ng Pilipinas, there are a lot of challenges and opportunities. It's really a question of finding where those opportunities are. You, dito sa amin, nakita namin sa mga activities namin sa buong Pilipinas, halimbawa, nagkakaproblema, may, we had a group that was just providing um, health care to our 20,000 employees. Nakita namin, baka kailangan natin isara to. But when we decided, we said, actually, you know, there might be an opportunity here because nakikita namin, kukulang na mga medical clinics sa mga iba-ibang lugar sa Pilipinas. You only see hospitals in big cities. You don't see them in quiet, small towns. So we decided to actually convert our medical teams who were serving seeing our employees to actually start opening clinics. And Suddenly, a cost center, yung negosyo namin na naging, kung baga, binabayan mo lang ng sweldo, pang servisyo lang sa inyo, naging negosyo sa, para sa amin. So what we're saying is, in any situation, there are opportunities. You just have to be very open to it and notice and recognize it immediately. You, if, if you go through life looking at your neighbors, your friends, the community and the, the, the areas that you operate, you will always see may opportunity. Ang daming opportunity tal talaga. And it's just a question of finding anong pwede mo mag makakakontribute. What can you, you as an individual or your group, actually contribute to satisfy the need? Kasi kung walang need, walang negosyo. So yun lang talagang kailangan natin makita. Ano bang kulang ng dito sa paligiran ko. And you will find a business. I like that. Very inspiring. Round of applause, please. Ang ganda niya. Parang, it's also looking for the opportunity in a, what could have been a crisis. It's finding the opportunity in what could have been a uh, crisis. Diba yun yung sinasabi ng, may, there's a saying in Chinese, I don't know, but uh, you can, diba, in, in Chinese, if a crisis is actually an uh, opportunity. That was what my father told me. No, I said, in every crisis, there is an opportunity. There's opportunity. So you just have to find it. And if your attitude, it's really key, is yung attitude mo. Dapat yung attitude mo is, okay, paano ako makakabaliktad ko yung sitwasyon na ito magiging opportunity ko. That's where it is. That's where it lies.